right, I'm doing the video. Last time I did the video, somebody came in. She was chatting to me for ages. Yeah, that's where they lean. Thing where they put the coffin on, roll it on with these rollers. That. Here's the font. Somewhere I've got a history of the church. Ah, they've actually got a toilet. Look, bet you anything though. If you wanted to use it, you wouldn't be able to get in. Look, see? Look, it says toilet. She let you use it. In a minute, that'll set alarm off me just doing that. So I'll just walk down here because any minute now someone will come in. Oh, I won't be able to video. Lovely angels. I can remember thinking I've done this before. I know I've been in here, definitely. Just do an update. Just do an update. I said somebody came in, a little old lady came in. I think I managed just to get up here when she came in. Well, they want you, if you've got up one of those special apps, you scan your thing with it here. Oh, look, they provide masks. I might have a new one. I'll put one on when I'm in here. I will put one on there. I will. So here's Sheila with a mask on inside the church. Caring about others, so, and myself. I've only just realised that they want us to do that. Oh, look, I can light the candle. There we go, I light the candle for my family. My family. I'm lighting this candle for my children and my family that have passed, like my sister Jude, my mum, my dad, friends. Wishing you happiness and health, everyone. I really do. Um, this is a Flemish stained glass windows, by the way. Panels that um, yeah. Some, so that's a candle for that gentleman there. I'm just lighting that one for my family, friends, the world, everyone. Um, yeah, that's for my children, Zara, Jolene, Duncan, and Georgia, grandchildren, Corin. Daisy, Jack, Lucy, and Amber. And our dogs as well, and any pets, by the way. Maggie Moo, Spirit of Bran, and all my other dogs I had. Seeger, Louis, Raven, Saxa, Brand another Brandy. All the people I've known that were gone not always dead, they just disappeared. Haven't seen them for years. I don't know if we can go in this bit. This could be a bit that's... You might not be allowed in here. No, they... I don't think I could get in here last time. This is the high altar. The rude screen. This is what's called a rude screen. Oh, 
big organ. Nice stained glass window behind there. And of course the pulpit which I should climb. It's got to be a good year since I've done this. It was when I was getting interested in Bamwell Wood. Ah, there's a good view from here as well. There's like a, a lid above you, like a roof. As far as I know, I've got nobody I know that was baptised here or married here, or buried here. So I don't think anyone I know. But you never know, and it is a lovely church. I pass by it a lot, a lot when I'm on the bus, when I discovered its woods and its hill fort. And there's some beautiful pictures of it from the distance. A very big church for a small village, like they all are. Lovely ceiling there. If I'm a bit muffled, I've got a mask on. And there's my candle I lit for the family, for friends, for the world, in these turbulent times. These scary times. Yeah. I do remember everyone. I might not see them, but I do remember them a lot. All right, well, carefully go back down now. With a mask on, I find you can't see or balance so well. I notice that. So it interferes with your nose, which is connected to your ears. So, it's, you know, balance and everything. Some lovely cushions, some kneelers, I think they're called, kneelers. And there's a little model, look. Typical of many churches, is it on that design? <sighs> My plan was just to go for a walk today, but I thought, no, I'm going to come in and in the cool of this lovely church. It's beautiful ceiling. Very beautiful. And I don't think there's a leaflet, but I've got one at home somewhere, I believe I have. And uh, it'll be online as well, by the way. It'll be online. They don't always give little leaflets out some places, so they want you to read the... You see in here, there's a whole chapter. There's all chapters about it. That if you really want to have the time, you could scan and print your own off. That's what a lot of people do. I might keep that little poem. A little poem there. I haven't left a pen, so I can't write my name. But I've been here. Yeah. Right then. I can take some photos. Right, just met, I've just managed to get a photograph of um, a large peacock with babies crossing the road. It was on a dangerous road here. Here's some Banwell Castle, by the way, that you can see from the other side down in the valley there. My friend had her wedding here. I think she stayed here as well. Yeah. Yeah, Banwell Castle. There'll be a history to it. It's more of like a folly castle than anything, though. You know, it's more like a folly, really. I think. It might be on the foundations of an earlier castle, but some people just built them to look like proper castles. But I suppose it is. It probably is. Well, I've just seen a pheasant, no, a peacock 
across the road here seconds ago. Came down from this hill. I was coming up the road. Oh, there's one. There's another one. That's the daddy one. Look. See that peacock there? Well, his, his wife and their children have just crossed the road. They've just crossed this de really dangerous road. It's Banwell Road to Winscombe and, and they literally just crossed the road. I was coming out from um, a road down there. Apparently the peacocks come from the castle. He's probably looking for his family now. He's probably looking for his family. Look at him. He's just taking his time. He don't care. Car's waiting to go by and the pe the peacock is just messing about in the road. Oh, there he goes. He's looking for his wife and family. Let me just 